Very interesting table after this anti-Semitic speech of Abu Mazen in the United Nations claiming Israel genocide, many other harsh words. So no doubt this shows the power of Amalek. Amalek, a nation which always attacks Israel, always try to do everything, even to wipe out Israel. So this is what you found here, Abu Mazen Amalek, and Professor Arali from University of New York found out that statistically it is five to ten thousand, which means very, very highly statistic. Clear show connection of Abu Mazen to these evil forces of Amalek. Now, more tables on the same subject was found with some additional verse. And here we have here also the same table. And again, Abu Mazen and Amalek, but here we find already clear how, oh, yeah, the enemy to Israel, you know, clearly what he wants. Now, Caleb appears here with Amalek very often appears in the Medrash, the Kabbalah, as a dog, who barks. And then, another interesting table, which also Professor Alec put in this site of his, which is Torah code.us. One can see so many other interesting things, Torah.us. And here what you found even more, the same thing created by Malek is this, but you found towards the end of this table, expression which is really very significant, that, isn't it? Anger on Ross, yeah, Anger on Ross, which normally shows time of judgment. If you come to Israel, and trust you in the verse, it's saying, those people want to destroy you, Nisachtem in Ares, that you want to eradicate you from the, the land. Amazingly, it comes here clearly indicating to us, as we said, that we have really, a Samalek always come to attack Israel because our Rebbe said that the creation of the Shabbat, because of having doubt in belief in God and being loose in keeping to us. This was our Rebbe said, as the Fidim, the pleasures of attack in the desert and so on. Lack of faith in God brings Amalek, and this brings wrath and anger on Israel. So the only way is to strengthen our belief in God, in the Torah, and definitely to keep Shabbat. And also, as we said, the most important is really to keep Torah fully, as we know that the Amalek came to attack Israel in the desert. And the Fidim placed that their hands were loose in keeping Torah. So let's stop that this is what will be, and only by this will be able to get rid from these evil forces, which really Abu Mazen clearly showed it in this speech of his in the United Nations.